coverage of last month's honor flight. We all think of those veterans as they make their mo monumentous trip to Washington, D.C., but what about those who get them there through the Greater Peoria Honor Flight? WMBD's Alyssa Paldo tells us about some of those special touches. From the airport send-off at 4 in the morning to the aid of a full medical team made up of nurses and East Peoria firefighters. So this day is all about the veterans. They really pamper us. The red, white, and blue carpet rolled out upon arrival in D.C. I got such a homecoming, I looked for a throne. I thought maybe they were going to put me on the throne. The appreciation that people have, I, I'm honored. Little signs of appreciation throughout the day. Like mail call on the plane. Mail for Don Rockhill of Peoria, Illinois. Letters from home, friends, family, even strangers, writing to the vets, wishing them well, thanking them for their service. Look at this, 48 letters. That uh, makes me feel wonderful, I tell you. I just never knew that I had so many people interested in me. And at the end of the day, bagpipes. Wartime sweethearts. They love it. I think they love that that little piece of history that they, they remember it. A homecoming fit for a hero. Many, many, many hours go into this planning, but it's nothing compared to what they went through to ensure our freedom. So I think it's the least we can do um, to thank them for their for our freedom for what they did so many years ago. Wonderful. You like like a young person again. It's wonderful, really. It's, uh... It'll make tears come to your eyes just to see the things that you see and the people that, that uh, wish you well. I said it's just beyond wildest dreams. In Peoria, Alyssa Paldo, WMBD News. Now the next flight takes off in May. For more information on how you can get involved, be sure to head over to our website, ciproud.com. Now still ahead.